welcome, 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 welcome back to my channel. I'm Mama Eve, and today's a good day. Today's a great day. Today is a fabulous day. But what's more important today is your day. Well, if you had the opportunity of looking at my Tuesday tea this week, thank you. And Mama's keeping up with her word. Today's video, I am going to show you how you can cleanse and charge your gemstones without Florida water, holy water, salt water, moonlight, moon water, or burying them. This is and and incense. Let's forget that because they are all ways that you can cleanse your gemstones. This question I'm asked almost every single day. Mama, how do I cleanse them? How do I cleanse them? And I usually say, or mention one of those things I just listed. However, I want to show you today how you can make this dry, powerful concoction that can, once again, add power to your gemstones. And it is so, so simple. Now, I would suggest that you could still do this on a full moon cycle. That is actually one of the best ways to um, boost any workings as far as cleansing. So just as it is very good to take spiritual baths on that time, it is great to cleanse your stone. So there's just going to be a few things that I want you to get. So if you get a paper and a pencil, you can jot these things down. Now this mixture will also, it's already going to be made up and if you want it, all you have to do is go over to the Etsy shop and get it already, already made up. So the only thing you have to do is receive it and start using it. It's just that simple. All right, so I hope I gave you enough time to gather up a piece of paper and a pencil or pen. The first thing that you're going to need in my recipe would be rose petals. Here's my rose petals. Now, it doesn't matter if they're red, white, or yellow, or pink. Maybe you have a bouquet of flowers and instead of getting rid of them you can do like I do I put my flowers in a dehydrator and I save them and all went along I have I have flower petals whether it be roses carnations daisies I keep marigolds I keep all of my uh, flower arrangements not for tea because they're they're not organic if you just get them from a florist but if you get them here I also have uh, rose petals and flowers that's organic and you can you can use them for teas so get you up some rose petals if you don't options any kind of flowers next I am, let me go this way. I'm going to be using some sage. Now, this is white sage, but you also can use rubbed sage if you would like. Now, rubbed sage for some may be easier because you can get that right from your grocery store. And I am going to be using bay leaves now this is crushed bay leaves but this 
here is also bay leaves. It's the same exact thing. So if you have whole bay leaves, it's fine. Just crush them up. Just like this. Just, just crush them up. All right. Next, I'm going to be adding some lavender flowers. And every one of these ingredients that I'm going to be using is not just good for purification, but good as charging, charging um, vehicles, charging items. Next, I don't know if you know what this is. Some of the stuff is very easy to identify. But this right here is one of my favorite herbs to use, not just for purification, but sanctification, consecration. This is holy hyssop. This is holy hyssop. When I make spiritual baths a lot of times for healing or uh, cleansing, I add holy hyssop to my baths. Now this is also a wonderful tea that you can drink, but to me it is such a powerful herb to use for bathing. And let's see here, I have one of the favorite herbs that's used for purification and cleansing. And I know that you probably know what this is. This is rosemary. Rosemary. I love rosemary. I love use rosemary. I even love eating and drinking the tea um, of made out of rosemary as well as cooking with it. It's very good for your health. Now here I have a stone. This is a cellulite. And it, you, this is a stone but it's more on a soft side so any stone that we purchase or you have that ends with a ite i want you or l-i-t-e i want you to look it up before you actually put florida water or set it in salt water or blessed water because a lot of the gemstones or a lot of the stones should not be wet this is one but it is so powerful i also have towers made out of this and i also have wands made out of this when i do my reiki treatments that is one of the first processes i do or steps that i do i actually will take my one and just lightly go over the image of your body or be the really close to your body just to absorb negative and that's why i'm going to be adding this into this concoction because it will cleanse the other stones gemstones crystals but it also purifies purifies and charges next what would what would this concoction be without salt we need salt to complete this and it's very simple you can use any type of salt but epsom salt do not use epsom salt this is a red himalayan salt but you also can use a white salt. You can use a ice cream salt. You can use any kind of table salt. That's all fine, but we need the salt that is going to cleanse and recharge your gemstone. This is so simple. So all you have to do is gather together these things. And y'all remember, if you want to add something, add it. So, um, it's, for instance, if you don't want the holy hyssop, you can add um, blessed thistle. So, all you have to do is 
swap or maybe you want to add herbs to this that's fine make your own recipe I'm just giving you a little peep into my recipe so it's just adding putting the things together so let's put our roses in now a lot of times people ask me for measurements it would depend on what uh, type of jar because you will need a jar what kind of jar or bowl if you use a bowl make sure that it have a top make sure that it have some type of top all right but they often ask for measurements and a lot of times I don't have it because I go by eye so I'm and it depends on how much you make it if you're going to make a great big um, big bowl full of this concoction of course you're going to need more ingredients so I'm just going to do I'll, I'll go by ear so this is about a half a cup of rose petals this is about one maybe two to three tablespoons of rosemary this is about a quarter cup of uh, hyssop this is about three tablespoons of bay or how about maybe like six six or seven leaves this is about two tablespoons of lavender and I'm gonna crush this up a little bit so I can try to give you a better okay so this is this I would say this is about one to three tablespoons of dry sage and take your stems off and this definitely would be about four ounces of salt and boy do it smell good let me let you see this Can you see that now this would this would even this right here would even be a powerful cleansing bath you could, you could make a bath out of this for yourself right and don't forget my stone so this is the little container that I have chosen so that you can see so I'm gonna put the stone in first and this is not expensive I was reading my comments uh, I think it was last night and I was going back to one of my videos where one of my subscribers said um, this is expensive the herbs that you need to make this bath I can't remember what what video it was but I just know that I was I was reading it and um, I want to say some things yes some things are expensive I'm gonna pour a little bit out and I'll show you why some things are expensive but what I realized is sometimes we just have to make sacrifices. I have, I told you, five children. I have 11 grandchildren, one great grand on the way. And when I go to fast foods for them, sometimes it's up in the dollars, y'all. Not no five, ten dollars. If I'm buying everybody something, huh, it's a lot of money. So if I can invest in fast food, then I can invest in my spiritual well-being. So not all of the videos I make is costly for the ingredients. I try my best to keep it down. And that's why another that's another reason why I offer these things already ready. Because that way you don't have to buy a half an ounce or a pound or an ounce of this and that. You can just get it already prepared. And it's easier this way and it's less costly. 
so I like to always give that option well can y'all see this how beautiful this is it is absolutely gorgeous and I do have some left so what y'all know what I'm gonna do with this I'm gonna make a bath so what you would do is just take your gemstone which this is a clear quartz and you would just merely cover it okay that's why I want you to have something with a top because you can give it a gentle shake just like this like so now once you finish you can definitely take it out it's very down not in there like it is it's home and it loves it <laughs> and voila your gemstones is cleansed so if you want it charged what you can do is leave it here for a minute And me, myself, and I, you don't have to do this, but this is what I would do. I would burn me a little tea light right on top of that jar. So, I hope that you make this concoction and you're going to absolutely love it. And like I, like I said, maybe two or three times. If you want it, just head on over to the Etsy shop. I'm going to make sure that it's posted so that you can get Mama's concoctions to cleanse and charge your gemstone. Oh, and something else just came to me. Let's just say if you have some kind of talisman. Let's just say if you have some kind of necklace or some type of bracelet. Anything that, that needs to be charged up. Use this same concoction. Yes. Thank you, spirits, for telling me that. Use this concoction for other things as well. Right? So, you just have a great, great day. Thank you for viewing this video. And I appreciate you so. Kisses! Yup.